Welcome to Space for Your Tech. Whoove is a platform for video and audio conferencing, chat, and webinars, which provides unlimited meeting duration and supports a maximum of 300 participants. Above all, it is free. Hello viewers. Welcome to Space 4 Tech. In this video I will show, an alternative to Zoom, and other video conferencing tools like Microsoft's Team, Skype, Google Meet and so on. And it also supports 300 participants and provides unlimited meeting duration for free in basic plan. In the current situation all video conferencing tool have gained popularity and have seen a significant increase in their user base. Whoove is a video conferencing tool, developed by Tencent, a Chinese tech company, who has been to various internet-related services and products, entertainment, artificial intelligence and technology both in China and globally. They are also into video game business and have considerable stake of share in popular games like PUBG, Clash of Clans, Call of Duty and many more. According to several media reports, Tencent launched Hove Meeting on March 20 across, Apple App Store and Google Play in more than 100 countries including Malaysia, Singapore, India, Thailand, Japan, Hong Kong, and Macau. Before moving on to the video kindly click on the subscribe button below, here and click on the bell button, next to subscribe button, to get notification about my new videos. Now let's move on to the video. To download Hove Meeting application, Open your browser and type VOOV in Google search. Then navigate to Hooves official page VOOVMeeting.com. When you click on the pricing menu in the page you can find the three different pricing plans. Free Edition Pro Edition Enterprise Edition As you can see, in Free Edition you can host a meeting with 25 participants for 45 minutes and pro version supports 100 participants with unlimited meeting duration and additional features which free edition does not provide now you may wonder how to get pro edition for free if you scroll up on the top of the page you can find a message saying that the features of pro version is made free till the coronavirus outbreak comes to an end mostly we miss to read these messages in the banner or we don't give much importance to them now we are going to make use of it. Click on the free trial button in the Pro Edition version. You will be directed to a sign up page. First one is your phone number. Change the country code to plus 91, if you are in India and using Indian mobile number, for sign up. And then, enter your mobile number, in the text field next to country code. You can also provide any country code depending on which country mobile number you are using. Then click on send button to receive a verification code for sign up. Enter the verification code received in the given mobile number, and then type your name, and a desired password. Password should contain at least one special character and an uppercase letter. Don't forget to click on the two check boxes below sign up button. One for user agreement and another one for privacy policy. Once you click on the sign up button, page will display a message stating that you have successfully registered. To download Hoove for your computer and start using Hoove, click on the download center option on the top of this page. In this page click on the platform to which you want install and start using Hoove. Since I am using Windows OS, I will click on Windows to download the Hoove application for my computer. Meanwhile while the application is getting downloaded let's log into my account in browser. Once you click on the login option, the login page will be loaded. Enter your mobile number and password which you used during sign up process. Make sure you have changed the country code accordingly like you did for sign up. In the profile page you can find that, 
the account type is free and duration per meeting is 9,999 minutes. By this they mean that the meeting duration is unlimited for each meeting. You also have the option to change your login password, and add your email ID with your account. When you click on the meetings list option, you will find the list of upcoming meetings and ended meetings. In this page you also have option to create a new meeting. By clicking on the button Schedule Meeting, we can create a new meeting. In the Schedule Meeting page, you need to enter meeting name, meeting start date, time, and meeting end date and time. We can also set meeting password, which has to be entered by the participants while joining the meeting. When you click on the Account Management page, you can find the duration per meeting and maximum attendees for your account which is 300 and unlimited time duration denoted by 9999. Now let's install Whove application and explore its features. Once the application is installed and Whove is started, you can find options to log in using your Google account or WeChat account. WeChat is a messenger application similar to WhatsApp developed by a Chinese tech company Tencent. You will also find an option to join meeting. You can join meeting, even if you don't have a Whove account. But you need enter your mobile number while joining a meeting. Similar to browser login, login in the application using your Whove account mobile number and password. Once you login, you will find three options. First to join a meeting, second one is to start a meeting instantly, and third one to schedule a meeting. Then you can create a new meeting as per your schedule, by changing the meeting start date and time and end time from the drop down menu. The thing which I don't like, in this is we can schedule meeting, only with time slabs of every 30 minutes. But we can start the meeting ahead of the time slab, for which we created the meeting. You can choose any one of the calendar options either Outlook or others depending on the calendar application you have configured in your computer for meeting reminders. Next option is to set meeting password. You can enable meeting password and set your desired meeting password. The attendees need to enter the meeting password, while joining the meeting. If you don't want meeting password just leave it as it is, unchecked box. Next click on schedule button. You will receive an error scheduling timed out if you have not configured calendar in your computer. If you don't want any reminders, just uncheck the outlook option. After you close the scheduling timed out message window you can find the meetings has been scheduled. Next to it you can find a start button and drop down menu, more. When you click on the more menu, you can find the option to invite. Click on it and copy the meeting invitation which is displayed. This meeting invitation, can be shared to the participants so that they can join the session. You can also share only the meeting ID or meeting link with which the participants can join which is up to you. Once you click on the start button the meeting will get started. A pop will be displayed to select the desired audio device while getting connected. You can also make PC audio as default, by clicking on the check box, below. When you are connected you can find different icon in the bottom. First one is to mute or enable the audio connection. The second switch is to switch on or switch off the camera. The third option is to switch on the share screen feature of Whove application. When you click on screen share, you can choose any one of the active application or entire desktop. You can also find an option called whiteboard, which is useful while making presentations, and explaining a concept in online tutoring, or sharing ideas, in an official discussions in a meeting. If you wish to share audio from your PowerPoint presentations, or audio from any other media while sharing screen, then click on the checkbox before you start the screen share. Now I have selected whiteboard, and started my screen share. During the screen share the audio and video control switches, and other menus gets displayed on the top of the screen. When you click on three horizontal dots, more option you can find the emoji options with four emojis. This is a handy tool for the attendees to intervene the session without making any noise which spoils the quality of online session. The attendees can use any one of the emojis to convey their feedback or ask any doubts to the person who hosts meeting.
Next to More option you can find New Share Menu. When the drop down near New Share Menu, the host can decide who can share their screen. If the Host Only option is selected, then only the host can share his screen and other participants can only attend the meeting. By default all the members can share option will be selected. But only one member can share the screen at a time. Now I will change my screen share to my Chrome browser. Once we start sharing our desktop apart from whiteboard, you can find an option called annotation button next to pause share option. This is similar to pen and pointer in a PowerPoint slideshow. You can color, or draw sketches, or highlight anything on the application which is being actively shared. Now I will stop my screen share, and share my mobile screen. I have used Hoove Android application, for joining the meeting from my mobile. Even in mobile the share screen is smooth without any lag. I have tested with my mobile internet and hosted a meeting for about 2 hours. There was no lag, and audio quality was also good. When you click on the chat button, the chat window will be displayed on the right side. You can chat with everyone or personally, by selecting your option from the drop down menu, next to send to in the chat window. We can also send emoji, while the screen is not shared by selecting the emoji button next to chat. If you want to invite anybody, after the meeting is started, you can copy the invite message, by clicking on the invite button, next to share screen menu, at the bottom and invite members to join the meeting. The list of attendees can be checked and their audio and video, of each member can be controlled by the host, by clicking the attendees menu, next to invite. This will help online tutors to make the students silent and monitor their presence. In the drop down menu more near chat window on right you can find two important options. One is used to lock the meeting, this will prevent members joining late, and second one, is only logged in users can join the meeting. This option prevents users joining the Whove meeting, without Whove account. In the settings menu you can find features like blurring the background, or change the background while hosting online video meetings. I leave the settings options to viewers explore by themselves. You can also start a meeting instantly without scheduling by clicking on the start option and invite participants from the meeting window, by selecting the invite option, next to share screen option. Whove is backed by Tencent Cloud and Tencent Security. The meetings are routed through, Tencent Cloud servers. So this adds more security to the meetings. Because, if there is any security issue, it will affect the customer base and global value of Tencent Cloud business. Hope you all liked the video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button, down here, and click on the bell button next to it, for notifications about my new videos. Like and share my video to your friends. Meet you all in the next video, bye.